Welcome grade 12 to market structures. We have four market structures that we're going to compare here and we will use the six characteristics on the left to compare these market structures. Let's start by giving an example. What would be an example of a, a perfect market? Street vendor is a good one. Someone who sells food, uh, they sell fruit on the street. Monopoly, the most famous example we have in South Africa is ESCOM. They are the only ones providing electricity. Uh, and then the cell phone service providers are a good example of a monopoly. Uh, MTN, Vodacom, the cell phone service providers. And monopolistic competition, we can uh, look at the uh, food outlets, such as uh, KFC. It's a good example of monopolistic competition. Okay, so let's compare these four market structures using the six characteristics, starting with the number of sellers. In a perfect market, there are many sellers. Because everyone can be a street vendor if they want to. Uh, Monopoly, we only have one. One seller. Remember, mono is a prefix for one, so we only have one seller. Oligopoly firms, there are a few sellers usually less than 10, few sellers. If you think of those cell phone service providers such as MTN, there are very few. It's MTN, there's Vodacom, there's Telcom, there's Cell C, I think Virgin Mobile, but uh, it's less than 10. And monopolistic competition, uh, we've got many. Like if you think of food outlets, if you want to buy food, there are many food outlets. So there are many, but not as many as in a perfect market. So we'll say... There's relatively, we'll use the word relatively, many sellers. Okay, second characteristic, control over price. In a perfect market, no firm can control the price, right? So think about it. If one vendor, one street vendor is too expensive, you go to the next street vendor. So... The businesses in a perfect market are price takers. They have to take the price in the market as it is. Right? They cannot decide their own price. But a monopoly can set its own price. So a monopoly is a price setter. Oligopoly firms, there are few firms, so they can also set their own price. So they're also price setters. And even monopolistic competition. Uh, businesses such as KFC, they set their own price, so they're also price setters. So you can see that the only is, uh, market structure that is a price taker is a perfect market. All the others are price setters. Okay, what about barriers to entry, the third characteristic? In a perfect market, there are no barriers. Anyone can enter this market if they want to. There are no barriers to entry. Monopoly, there are very high barriers to entry. Whether it's money, whether it's uh, resources, whether it's the equipment, but there are very high barriers. It's very difficult to enter that market. All right, and in an oligopoly, also very high barriers uh, to entry. If you wanted to start your own cell phone, uh, to be a cell phone provider, it would cost a lot of money. It would also require a lot of uh, resources. So here there are also very high barriers to entry. Uh, if you wanted to start your own food outlets, there would be some barriers to entry, but not uh, as it is in a monopoly or oligopoly. So we'll say there are few barriers to entry. Okay, let's come to the fourth characteristic. The nature of the product. All right. The products provided by a perfect market are all the same, right? The one street vendor provides fruit and the next one provides fruit. So all these products are the same. So we'll say they are homo. Remember, homo means the same. They are homogenous. The products are homogenous. In a monopoly, the product is unique. This is why this business is the monopoly in the first place because they provide a unique product. 
oligopoly, the products are the same. They are homogenous. If you think of uh, products provided by MTN and Vodacom, they are the same, but they are differentiated. Differentiated. Um, for example, if you think of the data that is sold by MTN, it will be a little different in price to the data that is sold by Vodacom and the airtime the same. So these products are the same, but they are differentiated. In monopolistic competition, if we think of the food outlets, there are so many, and they divide the you know they provide different uh, products. There are food outlets for pizza. There are food outlets for um, chicken, such as KFC. They provide different products. So the prefix for different is hetero. So their products are heterogeneous. Okay, let's come to profits. Profits in a perfect market, no one's going to make a lot of profit here. So all the firms make normal profit. Uh, profits, there's just enough for the firm uh, to survive, to stay in the business. You make just enough. Normal profit. Monopoly, of course, they will make super normal profits. And so will oligopolies because it's only a few firms that will also make super normal profits now monopolistic competitors such as kfc they you know or food outlets they will make they can make super normal profits in the short run but because other businesses can also enter there are few barriers to entry in the long run they should end up making normal profits in the long run it's very important to specify. In the short run, they can make super normal profits, but because there are a few barriers to entry, they will also make normal profits in the long run. Collusion refers to when businesses get together to decide the price, uh, the price in the market. Uh, in a perfect market, it's impossible. There are too many sellers. They will not be able to get together to decide the price. There are too many all over the show. Uh, in a monopoly, there's only one, so this is irrelevant, right? The one seller cannot collude with themselves. You know, they only want this, so the one uh, seller decides the price. They not they don't have anyone to collude with, so that collusion is irrelevant here. Oligopoly firms, because there are a few, yes, collusion is possible here. These few sellers can get together and decide the price. So collusion. Uh, happens. So this is where collusion happens in an oligopoly market structure. Uh, and again, in monopolistic competition, because there are so many sellers, again, uh, collusion is difficult, would be difficult. Uh, it is difficult. So we can see that the only market structure where collusion is possible is the oligopoly market structure. So I hope this uh, video was useful, grade 12s. Thank you.